ladies, welcome to the Friday Live. My name is Tineke from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business. And the topic today, oh, and <laughs> double their income within a year, guaranteed. Now the topic of today is branding and positioning. Tineke, I want to change my logo. I want to change probably the colors, the style, maybe even the name of my business. And I do not want my old clients to think that I'm gone. I don't want to lose them. So how do I approach this? I don't know if you have a newsletter. I don't know if you have, uh, have all of them on social media. But the beauty of this nowadays is that you can involve your old and already existing clients in the whole transition. So that's what I did in this Facebook group when I rebranded myself. Um, there was a different logo, there were different colors. Um, so I asked the group, hey, do you like this logo? And I had them vote for the logos. Do you like these colors? And I had them vote for the colors. It's actually beautiful. You can explain to them like, hey, you know, I'm in a different place now. My business is not uh, fitting me anymore the way I was when I started it. The business has evolved. So it is time for a change, a new look and feel. And I like your help. You was my trusted, worthy customers. And then, it will become something that they feel attached to, attracted to, something that they love because they've helped you create it and they know that it's going to happen. There's one but. If you don't want to target your old clientele anymore, um, it's not really good to have them involved because then you will get a business which doesn't suit your new clients. So that is, that is something which is important. But for the rest, involve them, involve them, involve them. That's so amazing. And you know, they come up with suggestions and with ideas that you have no clue on. Right, next question is, what should be in my branding guidelines? So first of all, branding guidelines is a document. It's a PDF document where you have your logo, the colors that of your logo, the PMS colors. The font that is used in your logo, or maybe there's more fonts used in your logo. So all of those have to be in your branding guidelines. Then there has to be a description about who your target audience is. Um, what kind of images, that, that's, at least that's what I want in my branding guideline. Um, what kind of images should they use if they start to uh, promote you? What kind of images attract uh, to, your, to your clientele, uh, are attractive to your clientele? Um, what else? The, the black and white versions of your logos. You need to have the logos in various formats. In um, PDF, in PNG, in JPEG, in um, uh, what's it called? EPS. Uh, that's what you need when you want to have stickers uh, created. What else? You need to have your banners, your social media banners. I would add them in your um, branding guidelines if possible. Next one. How can I make myself look high-end and not spending a lot of money? If you want to look high-end, it might look high-end for you eh, to buy a cheap uh, Louis de Vuitton uh, suitcase or bag. Just know that the rich and famous, they will immediately see that it is fake. You don't know where to look for, but they do. And they can see it's fake. So <laughs> I would be careful with that. You can work with your jewelry. Um, mine is always gold, obviously, so it's not cheap. But you can have gold plated. If you don't want to have jewelry, you can wear, uh, you can watch in clothes. I mean, always make sure that your hair looks nice, your makeup is done. Um, languaging is important so that you use the right language that those people use, eh, high-end clients. And in regards to clothing, for example, this is a handmade leather jacket. I, I, I have it made in Morocco. I 
went before COVID, I travel to Morocco every now uh, and then, uh, once a year. It's a lot cheaper there. It's not that I travel specifically there to have all my leather done, but whilst you're there anyway, why not? I know people travel to Thailand to have their tailored suits done because it's so cheap there and you, you can have two for the, or three for the price of one. You, you can go to second-hand shops. There are second-hand websites. In my country there's, for example, Vinted. Uh, you sell your second-hand uh, clothing there and, and you can buy it from, from anywhere in the world, I think. The main thing is how do you feel? If you feel, I don't know if I can target those kind of people, because this is what I see with most women, you know, look, look like this, shoulders, uh, shoulders up, because are tense, head down. You can dress whatever you want, but it's not going to make any difference. So first of all, it's your attitude. Attitude is the most important. And then comes the jewelry, your makeup, your hair, and your clothing. Is a one page website better than a big website with all the pages? That depends. It depends what your goal is and it also depends who your target audience is. Now if you do online marketing a lot, a one page website will work because then it's more of a landing page and you will send traffic to that page and there's only one goal for that page. The, the, the goal is whatever call to action you have at the end, whether it's scheduling a call, whether it's selling uh, something or whatever. But when you want to promote your business, your company, a full website definitely is better. And if you do a lot of business to business, um, well, I, I, I only do business to business, I think it's really important to have a website, yet my homepage is a little bit of a landing page. It is, it is uh, a call to action. The, my aim for my homepage is for people to schedule a call with me. But there are a lot of sub pages. Who am I? Uh, we actually created a new about page this week. I'm very excited about it. Go to powerfulbusinessacademy.com. Click on, oh, what's the name of the menu? The second one from the left, and then you see about. It's completely new. If you want to know more about who I am, what my mission and vision is, my journey to become an entrepreneur, everything, it's there. So do, do, do read it. I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah, and then you have your products, you have um, your press page, you have uh, your blog, your articles, uh, your services. So I think every business should have a full-on website. But whilst you start, you can start with a landing page and send traffic to there. And then you can eventually add more pages to it and add your contact details, your social media, everything. So are you clear that there's two different aims? It's a sales page and there's a website, totally different. What tips can you give me for all my social media channels to make sure that uh, it looks the same, also my website, that my branding is visible, that people know, hey, this is me, this is Tineke. Well, for us, we do that with the colors. Um, and very often you'll see an image of me in, in the branding. You'll see uh, the logo. We, we keep using the same fonts. So wherever you are on my website, on my Facebook group, uh, on social media channels, you will always see uh, that it's the same branding and it's the same person who creates it. So that's also something which is important because every designer has their own style, have their own blueprint, so to say. The designer can make or break your brand. So, so you do need to work with a fixed designer. If that's not always the case, you have your branding guidelines and you send out your branding guidelines and your instructions. A good designer should be able to still make sure that it looks like how you want to come across. How can I present my business so that it appeals to high-end clients? I already answered how you can look high-end. Yeah, so you as the person, so please do uh, look back at the, at the beginning because that's very important information. 
And how can you make your business look high-end? It's the colors, um, often shining colors such as silver and gold with black backgrounds. Those look high-end, um, dark backgrounds. Fonts really can make a difference um, when, when it looks high end. Um, the images that you use, use people who are dressed high end, who look rich. So you cannot use casual uh, images. Definitely not images that you made yourself. Buy stock images uh, when you want to create a high end website, unless you have a, a very good photo shoot. You need to have amazing images of yourself from a professional photographer where you show your high-end look. If you're not a high-end person yourself, the high-end people you want to target to, they will see the discrepancy. So you need to work on yourself. And I don't know if you already are. Eh? Please uh, forgive me if uh, there's, there's no way I want to offend uh, anybody. We, we we might think, oh, I buy a Louis Vuitton uh, bag and, and it will, I will look high-end. But the high-end people can immediately see it's a fake. And we probably can't. You need to look high-end. You need to uh, use high-end language. You, you cannot have someone from Fiverr uh, build a website. You need to invest in a good web designer. You need to have a good designer. You need to have an outstanding logo. Everything needs to be high-end. So when you want to target to high-end and you're not high-end yourself first, start with lower-end clients because you need to get accustomed to it. I know there are so many coaches out there who teach you to go high-end. But if you don't feel high-end, if you don't feel worthy, if you don't believe that you can sell 10,000 tickets, yeah, you might want it, but if you can't sell them, it's not going to work. Don't buy all the, the programs where, where they tell you you need to go high-end. Yes, you can also grow slowly, slowly to high-ends. I teach my clients always, if you're not comfortable with high-ticket pricing, charge a lower price where you feel comfortable about, and then if you've sold that for three times, you know you can do that and you feel worthy of doing that. And then you can up level. Going from charging low ticket prices such as 500, 1000, 1500 to 10,000, there's a huge gap. And we all want that, I know. And you need to grow there with everything and the most important is you and your mind you can have the best website and pay 10,000 euros for a great website which is too much you can also pay uh, a lot less but if you're not comfortable enough you're not going to sell the high ticket prices for one thing it's very 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 difficult to sell a high ticket purely online with just online marketing most often you need a personal approach and you need to talk to the pe person uh, in person before they trust you enough to pay you that kind of money. So you need to be able to sell. So just, just a quick call to action uh, from, from me here. I am positioning myself as the most all-round expert in helping business women to scale and grow because you need to look at a business as a holistic uh, entity. It's never just one thing that's going to make all the difference and that's going to create you the big success. Everybody who's telling you buy this online training and that's going to bring you all you need, it's not true. Please don't believe it. So if you really are serious about scaling and growing your business, just reach out to me and schedule a quick 15 minute call. It's just 15 minutes and I'm not selling to you in the 15 minutes. What we'll do is we'll get to know each other. Do you like me? Do I like you? That's my most important criteria. Do I like you? And my next criteria is, can I even help you? And yes, I know I can. If you sell a service, if you sell to businesses, if you are a go-getter and you are coachable. But I mean, we both need to be convinced and we both need to like each other. So um, have a nice weekend. And I'll see you next week. But don't forget, next week we are early in the morning, 10 a.m. Bye-bye.